Blessed day, my people. So in today's video, I want to talk about Elaine Thompson here finally landing in Jamaica and also posting a video with her handing over her gold medals to her husband. And also, Elaine Thompson gets her own diplomatic passport from Olivia Babsy Grange. And also, Sherika Jackson is back in Jamaica after having a great season. And also, I want to talk about Johan Blake responding to a question that was asked, who is his favorite athlete outside of track and field? So those are the topics I want to talk about in this video. But before I get into them, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you have a subscribe and make sure you turn the notification bell on. That way you're notified when I post a new video. So the first thing we're going to talk about is Elaine Thompson here being back in Jamaica and also posting a video of her and her hobby on Instagram. You understand? Now, of course, you can see her husband didn't miss her like crazy. And who would miss her? You see, people can remember, you know, you're married to the fastest woman in the world. So, of course, you want to hurry up and come so you can basically celebrate to Dara and all of that. You understand what I say, people? Now, Elaine also made a post on her Instagram page thanking Flo Olivia Grange for the love that they showed her when she landed in Jamaica. So, I'm soon get to all of that, people. I'm going to show you the video now where she hand over the medals to her husband. You see me? So, check this out. Miss me? Come here. Yay! Hey, guys! Yeah! What happened? What happened? You miss mommy? Yes! Yes! Come here, Bella. Come, mommy. Come now. Boy, I tell her, say, I'm longing for some of them food here. Yeah. Mm-mm. Axe Taylor. So I end over my medals. <laughs> you don't know the thing. Early morning setting. Some dum dum, no? Mumzel. Hey, Mumzy. Hmm. What? All right, people, so that was what she posted on her Instagram page. And you can definitely tell us your hobby does feel nice, you understand? Right now, the man have a bag of money around him neck. <laughs> It's all massa people and it's definitely a good look for see that she reached back in Jamaica safely because we still have to give thanks for that because we don't know say any card can play. See my people? So yeah, me is a man still in them. I respect my athletes them. So I love to see when them happy and them feel good. It's all massa people. So yeah, that is the video that she posted and you see me she hand over the medals to her husband and stuff like that. Now I'm going to move on to the next part of the story where Elaine Thompson actually received a Jamaican diplomatic passport. You see it people? So let's get into to this article so you can understand what's going on. So it says Olympic and Diamond League champion Elaine Thompson Hira will now carry a Jamaican diplomatic passport. Elaine Thompson Hira, the three time gold medalist at the Tokyo Olympics in Japan in August, is to be rewarded with a Jamaican diplomatic passport. Minister Olivia Grange announced on Wednesday. Grange, the Minister of Gender, Culture, Entertainment and Sport, was speaking at a welcome home ceremony for Thompson Hira at the VIP room at Norman Manley International Air airport in Kingston. Thamsi Hira, the 2016 Rio Olympic champion in the 100 and 200 meters, become the first woman to defend both titles at the same Olympic Games when she won the 100 meters in an Olympic record of 10.61 seconds and then the 200 meters in a new national record of 21.53. She would go on to win a third gold medal as a member of Jamaica's 4x1 relay team that set a new national record of 41.2. The third fast time in history. Two weeks later, she would lower her 10.61 lifetime best to 10.54 in Eugene, Oregon before reeling off time of 10.64, 10.72 and 10.65. The latter occurring at the Diamond League final in Zurich on September the 9th where she was crowned Diamond League 100 meters champion. In doing so, she became the first woman to run four win legal times under 10.70, eclipsing the previous record of 3.17 
set by the polarizing Florence Griffith Joyner of the United States in recognition of her outstanding performance for Jamaica, Tham Sehera is to be conferred with the order of distinction during the National Heroes Day Honor Award set for October the 18th. As that Minister Grange revealed on Wednesday, she will now carry a diplomatic passport. We will not be able to do the big splash we would want to, but we will still have an event that will say to Jamaica and the world and the athletes that we appreciate them and that we love them. Minister Green said while revealing plans to celebrate Jamaica's successful Olympic team before her announcement aimed specifically at Tom Sihira. Elaine, it was our honor to bestow on you the order of distinction in the commander class. It is our honor to ensure that you now carry a diplomatic passport wherever you go in the world. You will be treated appropriately. In accepting, the double triple Olympic champion said her success this season has come about because of the hard work she put in and the commitment to achieving her goals, notwithstanding the challenges that came with managing her long-running Achilles injury. She said the faster she ran, the more she believed that the world record of 10.49 is well within reach. So yes, people, definitely a good thing. And Ilian Thompson here will carry a diplomatic passport, a Jamaican diplomatic passport, wherever she go in the world. And for those of you who don't know what a diplomatic passport is, it is a type of international identity document issued by the Ministry of Foreign Affairs defining the position of diplomats and grants them privileges. Diplomatic passports are issued to government officials and the families who have been sent abroad to attend Congress and conferences. Yes, my people, so of course you know that um, Ilian represents Jamaica so anywhere in the world where she go right now people them are gonna know said this person is representing Jamaica because she have our diplomatic passport you see me so she will get a special treatment and I think that is a good look you see me she deserve it you know people remember she go out there and she work hard and I'm not saying that the rest of athletes them not deserve it but boy Ilian I nah, like girl, you put in the work, trust me upon that. And you are one of my favorite female athletes. You don't know, so I love Shelly and Fraser as well. I like all of them people. You see me, I not even want so like me and left out nobody because at the end of the day, all of them work hard. And those other female athletes who don't get no lip of recognition, like even Brianna Williams, we still have a big her up. You understand? Because maybe the next couple of years from now, she might come surprise us. So, Brianna, big up yourself as well. You don't know, say so I don't really talk about you a lot, but I just want to take this time out for big you up you understand what I say so anyway people big up Ilian Thompson in the comment section I want to say some congratulations and you don't know so it's definitely a good look if you are Jamaican and you love the sport then this is supposed to actually make you feel good and feel proud you see me remember you know the athletes them they deserve to get all this recognition because them go up on the battlefield and represent for the country you see what I say so it's only fair when them come back them actually feel love them feel special you know when them go they go do the whole of work and then at least just be thrown to the side that now go work, you see it? So anyway, people, as I said, just leave some congratulations for the athletes them in the comment section. And also, remember, I was telling you guys that Elaine Thompson actually made a post thanking Olivia Grange for letting her feel special at the airport. Now, basically, she made a post saying, I was greeted at the airport last night with warm smiles and gifts. Thank you, Flo Jamaica and Honorable Olivia Grange. It's your master people. And Flo even jump in at the comment section and say, you are most welcome. Definitely a good look. The athletes them feel good and that is how them supposed to feel. So anyway, people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So now we're going to talk about Sherika Jackson finally back in Jamaica, you see me? So, you know, from the other day, she can't wait for reach back. So she's back here as well. I believe she was also greeted, you understand, by um, Bobsy Grange and also Tara Long. Cause I see him actually make a post on his Instagram page saying, Sherika Jackson, proud to welcome home our spring sensation, Sherika Jackson, her son success at the Olympics in Tokyo and the Diamond League has made us all proud An entire nation salutes you. Stay safe, stay healthy. The journey continues. Big up yourself, Sherika Jackson. You understand, people? So it's definitely a good look. You see what i people? All of the athletes, them get proper greeting and you don't know some of those want the athletes, them for those feel at home. You see it, people? So big up yourself, Sherika. We're glad to see you back in the place safe and thing. So yeah, people, leave in the comments and let me know when you think about this. And and also, I want to move on to the next topic of Johan Blake responding to someone who asked him a question about his favorite athlete. Now, this took place on Twitter and somebody said, who are your favorite athlete outside of track and field? 
tag them and show them some love. Now, Johan Blake actually responded and said, for me, I personally can't think of a favorite right now because I know the hard work that goes into all sportsmanship. So I have a high respect for all athletes, to everybody all over the world pushing the limits, big up. So Johan Blake don't really have a favorite athlete outside of track and field because him knows that the athletes them in general put in a lot of work. There's a mass of people and that is definitely true. So I guess him just level the ball field or level the playing ground, however you want to call it, and just give respect to all of the athletes them. Is all man say, and that is true still in it. No matter which sport, I could have cricket, I could have football, I could have basketball, you still have to put in a lot of work. Is all man say, it's not just track and field alone, you put in a lot of work in. Is it, people? So that's it for the stories. Let me know what you guys think about this. And people, more want to big up all of the athletes, them. You understand? As I say, those who did well, those who never did well. Of course, we know say, the females, them came out strong this year. You see me? The man, them not really go on with no bag of thing. You don't know we see man like answer parchment go on with a little thing as well. You see me, people? And also, Levy, him go on with a thing as well. But otherwise, from that, the female, them definitely went out there this year and did their thing. So yeah, people, let me know what you guys think about the topics. And yeah, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to share the video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification bell on. Bless upon yourself and keep safe. I'm out.